awkward. Okay. Hi, everybody. How are you today? It's Patricia, and I'm here with Michelle. Michelle is the owner of Empower Lives, located in the Vancouver area of Canada, and I'm in Chicago. So today, um, we're going to talk about shadow work. And this is a very popular topic, but I'm going to tell you some of the things that it has to involve so that you understand that what you're capable of doing is a little different than maybe what you've been nervous to do. So, you know, when we talk about shadow work, this is the shadow of self. This is going to be your darker emotions. Uh, for some people, it's it's different, but also similar to a dark night of the soul. Mm -hmm. It can involve aspects of deep grief. It can involve ways that you hesitate from taking actions and things that are your personal fears, but that hold you back and that you didn't know were there. It's going to be things that were very long buried and it's going to be, you know, things along the lines of hatred. Why do we hate? Really, why do we hate? We've usually been hurt, right? Yes. And yeah. I know that for me, my dark night of the soul came with a loss in my life as someone that I was very close to. And uh, when I hit that, I had no idea I was, what I was going through. Yeah. It's hard to recognize. And yet, if it starts to happen, you can actually start to work on it. The work that we do, actually, I like to think of it as sort of excavating, where we're dredging out some things, even though it's maybe dense and heavy, and it could be something, you know, that you don't really want to share with people, but somehow it needs to come to light. Um, and I think you... I want to say, too, with everyone here is there's a lot of shame that is involved yeah. in it. Um, when we don't want to look at those parts of ourselves and we start to put up walls and masks and, and things that we are hiding from ourselves, our true selves. Yeah, it's true. Um, people have to walk around with a mask. Sometimes you might feel the mask is necessary because it's part of your safety net. Yes. It's part of your coping mechanism. Many times we've learned how to cope with things by not showing expression, by not feeling. Um, you're intended to feel a full spectrum of emotion without feeling vulnerable. Hmm. And that's safety. That is one of the things we like to teach people is how do you get to the level where it's safe? It's safe to be yourself. It's safe to feel what you feel. It's even safe to feel that you hate something because it hurt. And yet understand that that is not going to fester inside you. Mm -hmm. And it's not and it, that awareness of being cut off from your body, from the neck down, what's going on inside me. And I can't, I can't cope with this anymore. And another thing is that positivity. Oh, everything is fine. Oh, yeah. I'm positivity. You can't No, yeah, everything's not fine all the time. No. People use a different F word. <laughs> this effing thing you know yes. and it's like or it's something that happened and you're like oh f oh my goodness and you know people are going to feel what they feel how they hide it that's problem how they sublimate it that's problem how they bury it that can't happen anymore it is coming up to be deal dealt with it's coming up worldwide it's coming up along with mentalities criminal mentality. That's a dark side too. Mm. These things run in family. How many people have been assassins for some organization? Like, you know, uh, they need, that was their job. They were expected to get rid of the enemies or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it is about some really deep stuff having to do with like really deep death and, you know, I mean, we're not just talking about natural deaths. We're talking about people harming and hurting and maiming each other. Uh, what's been responsible for that? Now, an interesting thing that I do in many of my groups, uh, in my life groups, birthmarks. Oh. Birthmarks, the origin of a birthmark, because it usually has a deep 
psyche significance. It usually is something that, you know, has a story to it, even more, it's just as much a scar as a scar is, but even more than a tattoo. Tattoos are something people choose, mm -hmm. but a birthmark is a story. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a story of really deep, heavy stuff that a person may not realize that they're carrying around with them. And I believe that the emotional safety that we need to have in order to go there to these places that come up for us is key to not be talking about it just to anybody for someone to say what they say to us and tell us, ah, that's okay. Just suck it up. You know, you'll be fine. That's not the yeah. way to go anymore. People can't function like that anymore because it, you can't just move along or let it go. It, it's yeah. there and it will come up to trigger until a person is proactive about getting it removed. That is what my work does through your energy body, through your essence, through your chakras, through your heart chakra. Your heart chakra doesn't want to feel that stuff, doesn't want to feel shadows, maybe a fleeting shadow, maybe something where you are able to recognize that this is not a feeling you want to live with, like hatred, resentment, or that you're a victim of. Many times what we are doing is we are healing victims. Yes, and I believe that propping those people back up where they need to be and to mm -hmm. know that their worth and their value and that they are meant to live a great life for themselves, whatever that looks like, is that, is that peace. Yeah. I'd like to think my work is akin to um, taking off an overcoat where that overcoat had, you know, dings and, you know, rips and tears in it. And you get to put on a brand new coat that is serving you well and helps you further deflect anything that would put you in victimhood. Anything that would, you know, feel like somehow an attacker has left something lingering or something you may have needed to do simply because you thought you had to do that or you were obliged to do it or you felt that everyone else was doing. You know, I've talked to people who've done things as teenagers that they really regret as they mature and they know that they've hurt someone or wounded someone. Yes. They kicked on someone, they kicked someone, they pushed someone on a stair and the person never walked the same again, always lived with pain. Many times a person will feel that they, they know in their heart that there's something that they need to account for and be accountable for going forward. How do we move, remove this so that the function of the body is healthy? So you were talking, we were talking about people feeling their feelings and you were saying many times people can't feel except from the neck up. Yes. And think yeah. they're just thinking it. They're, they're yeah. saying, but they're not feeling it and their body's screaming out and their body's screaming out because maybe they've got, you know, something going on that injury, or they've got, you know, anxiety, panic attacks or whatever it is. And they're not able to understand the emotional piece because they're in survival mode. Right. And many times people lack the ability to feel because of previous abuse to themselves and they, they simply can't feel and they can't identify emotion. Many times those people, even if you ask them, what would you like for dinner? They can't answer because they're not in touch with themselves. Mm -hmm. um, this happens a lot in marriages where uh, so many compromises and abuse have happened that the person has completely lost touch with themselves. Mm -hmm. And working with children at a very young age now is getting them to name, how do I feel right now? And we'll sit in a circle and we'll talk about our day and how I feel. And I had one child sit beside me one day and they just started bawling their eyes out. And I'm like, how are you feeling? I'm sad. And just the tears were coming. And then afterwards they were fine. Being yeah. able to know as an adult that I'm going to have all those things too. And it makes me human. It makes me normal. There's nothing wrong with me. I don't have to suck it up. Like I said. Yes, exactly. And it's so good that the kids were safe to express that with you. And what I've found with adults is especially well-read adults, they can add some more adjectives in there. And yet the result is the same. 
if they feel sad, you know, how else is this feeling? A bit melancholy with a tinge of bittersweet. And, you know, they can qualify the emotion that they're feeling. How do they up-level that so that maybe they feel that once in a while, maybe some event happens, like, you know, they lose their favorite grandmother and yes, they will feel that again. Mm -hmm. But how do people get out of the mode of feeling chronically depressed, chronically sad. How do we get to the shadow work? Well, through my work of working with your body, through breath work, through actual movements and other parts of this work that I have, we get to those shadows and we make it feel safe. And you can many times, uh, what happens is you may dream it out. It may come out through dream time which is a very healthy way to do it. So if you have a nightmare, don't always discount your nightmares or be afraid of your nightmares. You are probably starting that process of shadow work and we should dig into that more so that you can get where you're going so that you don't carry that heavy stuff around. And I felt the more that I was able to do that with you, I would see my outside world start to shift where when I did all this in here and the deeper pieces that all of a sudden the opportunities would show up, the people to help me would ha happen in ways that I could never even have imagined. I thought, what is this magic? It was amazing. It's the magic of love of the, yeah. you know, the universe yeah. rises up to meet you because you rose up. And the same thing has happened for me too. Yeah. I've been absolutely amazed at how, when you unhook yourself from these things that are actually a lead weight and drag you down or keep you in the level of other people where they are at, you can't get served back. It doesn't reciprocate as easily with you as it does when you start taking the steps that you need to. So um, if, you're, if you are thinking about you know shadow work, if there's some heavy stuff that you've, you know, been through, or you're just feeling or can feel, and yet it's affecting you. It affects your moods. Please join us. Mm -hmm. We are having a six-week class, and the class is going to touch on these and other subjects so that you, by next year, when we're into the next year, you have some tools under your belt, but mainly you start feeling better. It's not the same as a psychology session. Psychology works with your mind, mm -hmm. okay? And sometimes gives you rationale or reasons or a lot of words. We're gonna do it much more expediently. We're going to get it moving through the body in the parts of your body where it resides and kick it out, unhook it, get it removed. You would be surprised how much more rapidly and effective this is. If you still need to talk to people, we're here to talk. Michelle and I both do one-on-one -on -one sessions. And we're doing this group to bring a synergism of safe people who want to similarly make progress in their lives. So we do this. If you need to talk therapy with it, with um, someone, we're not opposed to it. If you're on medicine to help you with that, we're not opposed to medicine. Medicine is sometimes necessary to start the process of feeling better or at least to regulate you and normalize you, mm -hmm. okay? It may bring some balance. Do you want to be on that forever? Maybe not. If not, this is a way for you to do this work so that you can feel self-empowered, really. the empower lives and through the work that, you know, working with your heart chakra and your force field, your energy field, your aura, whatever you want to call it, it's going to get you where you need to go. And I also want to say, sometimes you feel like you've gotten to a certain place in your own personal growth that you could have done certain things and seen healers or done whatever you're doing, but you're not getting to that next level for yourself. And I know personally, this is why I love what you have done in your work and what we've done together. And what I practice is I've seen that just big shift in myself and it works. Yeah, it really does work. I've been amazed myself and <laughs> I, 
formatted it so that I could help people and teach people it. And I've, I've seen it. I've done the same stuff with my, uh, my own parents who I've had bones of contention with and made the peace. And yes. sometimes that's where you're going to get first. You're going to get a state of where you feel peaceful. Yes. Are you peaceful today? Have we stopped the agitation inside your heart? Have we stopped the concern, the, the darkness? Have we stopped the shadows from haunting you? Really? Are you afraid to look in that shadowy corner? We're here for you. Yeah. And I believe that when you live in that place all the time, that doom and gloom is just, it's awful to, to yeah. feel like there's no hope. There's no way that I could live a life like I see somebody else living that I would like to experience. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're here to help the adults as well as the children. Yeah. We want to create healthy, vibrant, shiny people. <laughs> and we are looking forward to seeing you during our class. The links are below. We have a special we're running. Uh, it's going to carry you through six weeks of definite support. You get you know, a lot of opportunity to ask questions. I invite live question and answers. It is very intuitive. I'm an intuitive. We both have a bit abilities and gifts, you know, yeah. like we have, um, you know, I'm Irish. I have the Irish <laughs> sixth sense, you could say, but it's beyond that because it's not creepy stuff. It's not, it's the stuff that you need to work with to make you lightened up and get you out of that shadow. I'm excited. And I know that, um, that safety is an important part for people to be able to talk about certain things yes. that are struggling and we need to have that softness. That's going to peel the layers off. It's going to help. It's going to make you feel like you're not alone and, um, that there is another way. Yes, absolutely. We're giving you hugs right yes. through the internet here. <laughs> okay. We want this to be a good holiday season. We want you to have yes. some tools to use for future events with people you care about, birthday parties, um, you know, national celebrations, your team one, whatever it is, we want you to be able to enjoy, to thrive, to work, work at something you love, to not feel shadowy. You'll have wonderful insights. Those are some of the things that have happened for me with um, doing the shadow work is when I really looked at that mirror and I was like, well, I'm feeling this way and I'm acknowledging it like, and I got to see how this really is. It's just wild how some of this is. Do you know what would happen? I would see people around me like bickering and I'd be going, oh my God, that's how that looks. It was almost like the universe was putting on a little scene and a play just for my benefit but I felt it. That was the key difference. It wasn't yes. just saying, oh, some people, I, it was like showing me the mirror. This is how it is. Is this how you want to be? And Very powerful. One of my quotes is no one is you is, and that is your power. And that's my company slogan. And yes. what I love about what you're doing is that you bring it back to yourself to be able to have those insights and experiences and those revelations and changes and it all comes back to you and it's not coming from somebody else because this is where the true power is from absolutely very well said michelle <laughs> yeah i love it that is your yeah. slogan yeah, I believe that. And that's why my work is about empowering people because we have the answers. We have the knowledge inside us. It needs to be awakened. It needs to be supported. It needs to be guided in ways. But ultimately, when we feel that about ourselves, anything is possible in our lives. Yeah. And you will feel it in yeah. your heart. If yeah. you want to know how to be guided by your heart, this is how we do it. We have to peel away the density, the wounds, the everything else, so that it flows through you and outward to the world for your benefit. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, we hope to see you there. Please check the links below and uh, let us know if you have questions. Our email addresses are there. Our websites are there. And we hope to see you. Thanks so much, Michelle. Thank you, Patricia. Have a great I day, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye.